so after last weekend wheat field we are continuing wheat field tonight but different property uh, there's some cut hay back here we have actually some more wheat up there and some more corn down here wheat uh, i think more wheat back there lots of wheat fields around here so and just coming in in the corner of that field we saw some uh, damage already so what i want to do right now is pick up the drone uh, set it up definitely look at that field down there that's the field where we had uh, milo um, last year and we had tons of hogs in there so uh, i would be surprised if we don't see any damage in there the challenge again on this property is getting to it it's just basically just surrounded by by wheat fields um, we could cut through the cow pasture here in the front but it's really not a good good way to get in also can't take the UTV in so a little challenging however we have rattlesnake farm just down here so we'll, we'll go down rattlesnake farm uh, that's the nice part here now the owner lets us uh, use the property to get down to that corner of the wheat field uh, we can cross the fence down there and then hopefully we have a shot at a few hawks down there but otherwise I mean there's so many fields, wheat fields, corn fields around here. I would be surprised if we don't see uh, quite a few tonight. Uh, so I'm going to take the drone up now, fly that field, uh, see what kind of activity and damage we can see. One more thing tonight. Uh, I keep working on the on the uh, on the KM. Right now we have uh, these black oak IR LED parts in the front. They're mounted but not hooked up yet. Um, they have some pretty nice plugs down here. They're called Deutsch. Those are Deutsch plugs, Deutsch as in German, which works for me. But uh, I haven't hooked them up yet, but those will be pretty pretty nice, I think, going forward. Uh, on top, we have the Vivid Light Bars uh, LED pods. Added this little rack in the back because and you put some hogs down in here and they bleed a lot. You don't want to have all kinds of blood on your on your equipment. So that way we can keep the equipment up on top and it doesn't get all uh, dirty. All right, so let's take the... Oh yeah, and Micah is going all topless in this Jeep. Um, let's take the drone up, fly down there, see what we can see and I'll see you in a little bit. far left corner looks like. Oh yeah. That they didn't like me. <laughs> So I just picked up some fresh farm eggs from the owner of Rattlesnake Farm. Thank you so much. I'm gonna eat those tomorrow morning. Uh, wheat field is down there. As we drive by on this road here, we saw a black hawk already in there. And from the drone footage, there's tons of damage in there. And a big open spot. It's almost like they just widen this big spot uh, further and further. Whereas in other fields we see, you know, few uh, spots here where the beat has been pushed down, a few spots over here, so it's very patchy, but down there it's a one big area, it's crazy. 
And then they, they seem to be traveling around this, this whole area. There's tracks everywhere here. Some rooted up spots right next to us here in the ditch. Um, so we'll be going down our rattlesnake farm, cut over that fence, and hopefully we'll get some. Uh, <laughs> as we were putting stuff in the UTV, we had two bicyclists drive by, two women, and they yelled at us, you guys gonna get some hogs? So I guess we're pumped and we have the motivation to do that now. So I'll see you in a bit. Just gonna park the canine right here. We have that tank here. Maybe 200, 250 yards from here is that corner of the wheat field. The damage was all the way up to like about this height. So they would be in there everywhere. So we'll go down there, wind is actually blowing this way. Hogs are back there, so that couldn't be any better. And uh, yeah, so let's walk down there. My only concern is that we don't have enough elevation to see anything in there, but technically we could just go in that field, stand on the edge of that damage and just wait for them to come in. We would hear them and then, uh, you know, get something going. All right, I'm gonna get my pack on, step on the rifle and then march this direction. Mosquito time, so I have my stupid look in. Mosquito net on. We are in the wheat field right now, and we had, uh, oh, we saw that one hog earlier. We made our way into the wheat field, but we cut in before the corner, so we didn't have to, you know, walk all the way in there. And we had the wind in our face now, which was really good. We had one boar just walk in on us, maybe 60, 70 yards out, not, not too far, and um, took two shots, Mike and I. He's in the ground now, so we're gonna walk up and check him out. He looked fairly big in the thermal, so let's see how it turns out. It's not as big as we thought, so we were much closer than anticipated. We were probably within 40 yards or something of him. We're gonna keep scanning now and see if we can get some more. So we've been looking for those hogs we just shot in that group for probably 45 minutes or so. Followed all kinds of hog trails we see here in the wheat. Trying not to trample anything, any more wheat down, so we take the path which are already in there. And that would also lead to, you know, a downed hog somewhere hopefully, but we found, well we found the one I shot. I jammed up after the first shot, I guess those six five granddaughter rounds right now are getting pretty dirty in there. Um, 
have quite a bit of gas coming back and uh, as it gets dirtier I have that happening more often than usual so but I was pretty certain that I hit that that hog I looked at the video on the Thor 4 and I could tell like I hit her behind the shoulder well actually I thought it was a boar because it was all white all wet uh, and we usually see the boars doing that out here quite a bit, but obviously sows, uh, you know, wallow in mud too. Anyways, went up to kind of where I thought they were, and I saw some fresh droppings in the ground which showed up in the thermal that kind of helped. Um, then I was looking for a blood trail, but I couldn't see any blood trail anywhere. And I only found this sow based on pure luck. I mean, there was no blood. I followed some trail and all of a sudden to the left uh, I saw that hog on the ground and all muddy so I knew that was mine and then also you could tell it was a long shot. Um, so I pulled her out to my surprise it was a sow not a boar like I said um, and then tried to find the ones Micah shot. He shot about three. I found one blood trail and it must have been the first one he shot. Uh, I think it was a bigger sow. Uh, and she went under the fence. So luckily, that property over there is Rattlesnake Farm, so we do have access to it. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is just pull those two hogs we have in the ground here, the first one we shot together, and the second one I shot, um, take a quick picture. Since this is already a pretty big open area, there's no point in pulling these hogs out. We're just gonna leave them here in the middle, and then the vultures will come in, those turkey buzzards tomorrow, and uh, make pretty quick uh, process out of these uh, hogs. Usually they're gone within the day. So um, yeah, let's pull these together. Maybe you take some pictures, and then I'm gonna get over uh, over the fence and look for that big sow. And maybe we'll take the can am around and see if we can use that thermal camera and see if it aids us in in recovering that that big sow. Alright, we had enough for tonight. Uh, there's one more small hog here on the, on the ground. Uh, it's one of the ones Micah shot and we were able to track uh, across the fence line. Didn't see anything else tonight. It was super windy. We had wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour, they said, on the forecast. Those weather conditions tonight were tough, not only because, um, you know, we saw less activity than usual, but also with the thermal, once you have constant wind like this, you don't see a lot of um, structure, or you, you don't get a lot of uh, non-live uh, heat signatures, meaning that you won't be able to see the trees very good, you won't be able to see uh, you're on the ground or any, any landscape, basically. So the wind just kind of like equalizes everything out. So the only thing you really see is uh, life, anything alive, so anything which has a warmer temperature than uh, the uh, environment and um, then it's really hard to judge distance, to really you know find something, to know where you're looking at and so forth. Um, so it wasn't the best uh, uh, situation tonight. Also humidity was kind of high, we started off with 71 percent humidity and I don't know where we ended up uh, in the end. But KM worked out great you can see it here in the background uh, the green lights are pretty pretty bright pretty fun I noticed that those green lights on top so the vivid light bars LED parts um, are not the greatest for as driving lights because they really just uh, light up left and right quite a bit with those parts being up there you get some light in the interior of the KM. So it is a little bit distracting. Um, the windshield also gets some light, so 
not the best position probably for those, but the seismic mirrors, um, if you run only those, there was plenty as, as a driving light uh, to get around um, you know, these properties here. So worked out great, uh, thermal camera worked out good. Don't have those IR LEDs uh, hooked up yet, but I'll do that in the next few days and then I think those will work out pretty good for that camera. So, anyways, that was it for tonight. Uh, we have a total of four hogs. Better than no hogs, so stay tuned and uh, see you next time.